Hey everybody, welcome back. So I did do some looking up and seeing where Shine Sprite's cute or the uh, rocket nozzle and the turbo nozzle were obtained. And apparently I was, I guess maybe the information I got back then was a little misleading or maybe it wasn't true at all. But apparently you do not unlock them through mission based. So it's only Yoshi that is unlocked through completing a mission. Uh, if what I read was correct, we will unlock one of the nozzles immediately upon collecting at least one more Shine Spring. So, what we're going to do in this episode, I guess, is we're going to simply find a... Uh, find a secret Shine Sprite that we can just get without any hassle. And I know exactly where to go. We'll just go right back to that those crates and get the other one from this. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy, my friends, and then we should have access to another nozzle. Yes, let's do it. Mm, easy break in boxes. No idea why this is a task that needs to be done. No idea why you couldn't just move the boxes outside. But, whatever. I'll take it. It's an easy shine sprite. As far as I'm concerned, that's the only other time I need to do this. Like, there's still a third level to this, but you don't, you, the Shine Sprite you get is like, it's like you don't get a new Shine Sprite for it. For whatever reason. Alright, now, if I'm correct, Shadow Mario should have a little tool for us. There he is! And since it's the, do, the, the dash nozzle first, I think I'll make this episode cleaning up a bit of Delfino Plaza and collecting some of the secrets. Which means, yep. I am going to be taking on- I think I will be taking on the Panchinko machine in this episode. Better late than never. Hey. Get back here, you. Give me that. I need that. Oh. Make up your mind. Where are you going? He just goes the other way. He's just walking back and forth between these two rooftops. Dude, make up your mind. There we go. Alright. Who wants to see what this one does? Well, I'm pretty sure the name says it all. Boom! Look at how fast we can go now. We can now use this specifically to break these kinds of doors. Now, there are not very many of them. In fact, this nozzle is probably the most situational out of all of them. Used not very often, but will still come in handy. As we will need it to access, at the very least, two different... Well, we're going to need it for... A blue coin and a secret level. So, let's go and do that. We still need another five Shine Sprites because we need 30 to unlock the rocket nozzle. One thing about this is it will genuinely chew up your water. Unless you're in water. Still very nice water. Love it. Absolutely love this game. They made it, they really did sell Delfino Plaza as a as a resort area. Absolutely beautiful. Mm, zoom. And then we just gotta go right in between these guys. Oh, launched, a, launched one of those things. Ah. Uh. Oh, what? That doesn't count as water? Oh, right, I'm gonna need this. This one, this is the one, well, since you need the dash nozzle just to access this area, this one's going to make a big bit more use of it. Some precise jumps here. Oh, almost overshot that one. I've overshot that a few times in the past. It's quite easy to. That's not a very small, it's not a very big platform we're landing on. Um, before we do the Panchinko machine, however, 
There are also a few Yoshi things we can take care of. One thing Yoshi... Uh, I'm not doing the lily pad ride secret just yet. That one takes a little... That one takes long enough just to get there. Uh, no. For now, there are a few spots Yoshi can be a little more useful for. Come on, big guy! Let's go. We're, we're gonna explore Delfina Plaza primarily for this episode. A few shine sprites we can get from in and around here. First off is this. Most Yoshi, though, so those little force field like things are things that Yoshi can easily take care of. This juice just dis dissolves it for whatever reason. Ooh, careful, Yoshi. And there's another one back here, so this is mostly for blue coins. And that's also what's blocking a warp pipe on that island, which is where the lily pad ride is, which we are not going to go to right now because, again, the length and effort it takes just to get there is enough. That's something I have to dedicate a little more time to. Um, let's see. We're going to actually go right back over there because we have another easy shine spark we can get at. Yoshi, stop eating the birds. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it. Yeah, I just made it. Hello. I have come for your services. Bam. He just chucks you into this house and there's a window. Well, there's a shine spray, not a window. You break the window, you get a shine spray. Easy mode. Oh, hey, and we're almost... We're almost one shine spread away from unlocking the rocket nozzle, so... We'll do everything I can to find as many excuses to just be here. Uh... I know there's another secret over there, but that kind of requires the, uh... The rocket nozzle. And then there's... well... Hey, there's a boat here. Let's tackle this infamous level. The Panchenko machine is infamous for many reasons. One of which being its incredibly shitty way of being of controlling. You are for, once you jump here, you are forced out and you uh you you have to travel the distance you are going to go. All, you know, we have to basically land in several pockets to collect some red coins. Alternatively, we can also kind of cheese this one. The bottom ones, I think you could cheese relatively not easily. It just takes a little bit of time. Okay, I'm gonna try a new approach to this. I know for start, I know for a fact, if I can just get the timing right, I can stand right here. Spin jump. And then we can... Yeah, there we go, we can get that one. Whether or not we can get that other one, let's find out. Alright, so it's... Huh. Oh, my camera angle is making the holes disguise into the wall very well. There it is. I... no, we cannot reach it from here. Okay, so that one's going to be a bit of a problem. So yeah, basically once you've reached a specific point, I think your momentum stops and then you can freely move around, but it's very hard. There's something about this in particular area was that was not programmed very well. Oh, there we go. That's another, there we go, another easy one. Yeah. 
I'm still not entirely sure how this entire thing works. Alright. Oh yeah, and if you miss everything, you immediately die. Which makes this last one the riskiest one to get. I think you have to get lucky enough to land on one of the pegs. Or something. I don't remember. I know there's a way that this works. I just don't remember how it does. Oh, see, and I... Oh. Oh, there you go. There, now you can see if you miss everything, you die. And you have to do everything all over again. That's what makes this level so infamous and so problematic. So, I'm assuming we'll be here for a while. Oh, bl You were like a pixel beside that, weren't you? A straight up pixel beside the opening. Oh my goodness, for a second there I thought we could have had the easy, the hardest one down packed, like, right away. There we go, that's better. Okay. And if we just do this, we might be able to get this one. There we go, okay. That's better. We could probably do the other three a lot easier now. See that? No problem. Okay. It takes a few tries, but once you get the hang of it, it's kind of a little bit... <coughs> well, no. I'm not going to say it's a little bit easier. There we go. Okay, now we got one more. And then we have to make it right into the dead center. I think the dead center is going to be the one that takes a little bit more time. Strawberry. Perfect. Alright, now we have to find a way to get in there without dying. Knowing, well, I would not like to say knowing my luck, I'll probably end up falling. Because, like, I'm not entirely unlucky and it's mostly a, like, a little bit of skill in there. There we go. There we go. Just gotta be careful. Don't gotta overthink things. Just gotta be careful. That secret's still a pain in the ass, though, and for many good reasons. That, like, anybody... Anybody who starts out with this game, who's never played it before, that's probably going to be one of your first... Or one of your main struggles. Possibly. Who knows? You could be better than the average person. But that is arguably one of the harder secret levels in the entire game. Now, what are we going to occupy our time with right now? Because I've still got a bit of time. You know what? Let's go blue coin hunting. There's still a, lo a lot of blue coins that we can collect. Most of which are in the sewers, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So, let's go sewer diving. I'd go for the right, the, the hundred coins here, but eh, we're running out. We're running low on time. So there are a few blue coins I can collect around here, not this way. Unfortunately, you can't see anything because everything's a silhouette. But the question marks that you see are coins, and the smaller question marks that you can just barely see, so that shadow, those would end up being either like a one up or a blue coin. So at the very end here. This is a blue coin. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Now I know, like, there's a few more we can collect. I know there's going to be one hiding around the beach over here. There's actually, we've probably stepped on it numerous times. Right here. There's a hidden one right here. And it leads to... Some coins. Oh, and a one-up. 
but I also know... There we go. Go right in here. There's another open spot here. And the blue coin right here. Oh, nope, that's also a one-up. Never mind. Oh, I know there's another blue coin in the sewers. I think it's on the other side. Going a bit over. That's fine, though. This is for the sake of some blue coins that we definitely need to focus on collecting. Because there are at least 240. There should be a blue coin somewhere around here. Here we are. Right this way. Up here, please. Yep, that one's a blue coin. But I saw a split path. Where does that other one lead? Ooh, coins, 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 lots of coins. Just coins, though. Oh, I was already halfway to getting the... Ooh, a lot of coins here, too. Okay, well, this makes getting the 100 coin shine sprite a lot easier. You know what? Screw it. I said we're, we're already, like, six-tenths of the way there. Let's finish this one up. I should hopefully be able to do this within due time. Now, one thing you gotta know is that you can get money from spraying a lot of different things. Just spray things and eventually you'll get something out of them. Open windows, wanted posters, you, you can get coins from a lot more than what you think. That was graffiti over there, wasn't it? There's some graffiti over there. Hundred percent certain. Yep. Yeah. I'm going on. I did not expect this to be the time I go over episode my usual episode time. Delfino, like, just derping around Delfino Plaza. All right. Could be birds right now. Mm, cool. Free money. That's what we need. Oh, open window. Spray the person on the inside, they throw change. For some reason. Who knows? Hey. Hey, give me my coin. I know you give a coin. Or maybe not. Oh, wait, I'm pretty sure you were supposed to give me a coin. Oh well. Yeah, there's some over here. Oh, there's another. Oh yeah, I remember another shine spark we can get. We can just spray a yellow bird. All right, we're almost there. We need 25 more coins. Where I'm gonna get those 25 coins? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, well, there's one. Am I seriously going to need to eat some birds for this? Mm. We're getting this coin no matter how long it takes. Or this, this shines for no matter how long it takes. I'm already at uh, 81. I'm not, I'm not just going to give up this one. Yoshi, I, I might need your help. more coins around here somewhere. Oh! Um, I think there might be some in that manhole over there, actually. And maybe I should actually try hitting the manhole. Uh, not that way. Up here. Here we are. Here's some. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Even more. Oh, just what we need. Exactly what we needed. Bingo. 
over episode time, but it will be worth it because we got we we just that gets rid of this in particular shines bright. So we are going to need a boat for this, but two boats pass by this area regularly. They are both currently leaving. So that does not help us in the slightest. Alright. So, that is a bit problematic. Because now we're just going to take even longer. Now we have to wait, we have to get board this boat, then ride it all the way back to that pedestal. Is that bird just casually sitting on the water? It is. Most definitely is. There we go. I'm not getting that. I'm riding the boat to this. Well, I will, I'm going to say it right here, right now, because once we get that shine sprite, it's the end of the episode. But next time, we will be pursuing Shadow Mario to get that rocket nozzle, and then we will be going to another new world, and then we'll have every world ac access. We will have free access to every world in the game once we've reached that point. So... We will see you guys next time.